Well, here we are, back again. This time, things haven't really gone away. <laughs> let's, let's just put it that way. Um, yeah, so this is a last minute video, guys, because I really wanted to talk about something that was massively important for the autism community and not just me and I won't go in too deep a detail on what this is about but basically I'm going to be sharing my own views and opinions on this and just to tell everyone that we don't need this anymore we don't so basically what's happening this week we had a little bit of a dilemma because there was another scientific report that was released earlier during that week, or perhaps before, but it only came into light in newspapers this week. And basically, I found out all about this on the BBC News website. Well, that, and through an article from a newspaper called The Telegraph. And basically, both of them were talking about some scientific evidence that if a parent wants uh, to actually control, well I wouldn't say control, that's the wrong word, if they want to prevent their child having autism at an earlier age, then the best way to do is to communicate with them. But basically it's like going through some certain experiments and basically from what I understand is that, that there are two universities in the UK and in Australia they were doing some experiments on how autistic children uh, can interact with their parents from their parents doing a few things with them after watching the video. A, a video about how to properly parent your child with, or children. This happened and I only found this through my friend Connor Ward and he told me about this first and when I first looked at the Telegraph screenshot I didn't know the BBC actually did this first or any of the Australian newspapers. I didn't know any of these two, but once he actually sent me a screenshot of the article of the Daily Telegraph, well, of the Telegraph, I was blown. My mind just blew and I thought, uh, excuse me? I, I, I just looked at it and I thought, this is technically, technically a miscommunication or misinterruption here. And I don't know which of the two are partially correct. And to me, in my mind, it was something that even though the detail in it was a bit, oh, I don't know, it was the title that really caught me by surprise at first. And I was like, whoa, why are you using these words like coach, prevent, cure? Why are you using them? This doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? And it was something that it did put me into question and it was easy enough to see that this was a case of yellow journalism. And I didn't know if the yellow journalism was the fault of the scientists or the fault of the newspapers at first, but I came to the conclusion that when I looked into it, it was the fault of the newspapers. And one newspaper, I won't mention who it was, did change the title of the name, didn't make any difference. It really didn't make any difference whatsoever. And I just thought, yeah, you're just making things worse, aren't you? And I actually did a lot of social media posting on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, every single one of them. And then also not forgetting Reddit. And I just shared what everyone else thought about this because I I wanted to share on this based on what people think and the responses I got were so mind-blowing it led me to believe that it was back to square one it was a repeat of the Spectrum 10k and I thought to myself 
it that is really mind-blowing but also it was agreeable I absolutely agree with all of this when I was actually reading this and reading this I thought you know what let, let, let's let's just write to the BBC News and the Telegraph personally not to make a full complaint but be polite about it within the day of writing about this I only got one response out of the two of them and that response was from the Telegraph and I wasn't satisfied with their answer I really was not satisfied and it just makes you think really if there is an eye-catching moment of a story and if there is some information that is misleading or if there is a title uh, that catches the people's attention to make them read the article then they're just doing it for the money and they are taking the step to create another case of yellow journalism and this is something that really really peed me off <laughs> it really did because I know that in the world of having the free press it can be very ugly this has led me to the conclusion that I wanted to say something very important because you are not going to learn about autism by blaming parents for bad parenting if they uh, if they don't use the correct method of raising and bringing up their children and understanding autism in a way to either prevent or cure it but also they, they try to ignore the concept of how autistic people feel and go through because everyone has it tough everyone actually has a lot of different ways on how to raise up their own kids to live in the environment that they feel happy and content with but also to make them feel safe and secure and in my mind really I don't think that after all of this has been happening with the Spectrum 10k and then through the event of happening in response to the hashtag it, to the hashtag stop the shock it's like that. It's a case of things happening all over again. Nobody understands autism in the flesh. But if you want to understand autism, you have to get to know a person better. Autistic people shouldn't be judged or examined on a piece of paper before research or before communication or before participating because you're not going to get anywhere by using one sample of DNA, one trial test or with parents and children you only met the one time. It, it doesn't really work out like that. If you want to understand autism better and if you want to get to know a person just talk to them like a normal person. Autistic people want communication, they want to be included, they want to be interacted and not just made to feel like they are a disease, they're um, nothing but a nuisance or anything like that, definitely not, no. I am seriously lucky to be autistic and I am lucky because I am so blessed to have autism. It is part of my life and I was born with autism for a reason. I was born to understand myself as an autistic individual. I was born with autism to understand how all of my friends around me, whether they're autistic or not, to how they live in different ways, different and live in different lifestyles, what they like, don't like, and if they do things that people think that that they do, which is the first thing that they think about, which could be either a myth or a truth, or basically the opposite, really, and it will be nothing but a stereotype. And I know I'm not making any sense about this, but this is where I'm going with the flow from this. And you have to remember that with autism, it's not about parenting, no matter how good or a little bit of a trial and error it is. Parents have their own ideas of how they want to bring their children up. And individuals, like kids and adults, they want 
their own life really and to have that snatched away from them by journalists criticizing parents decisions of how they're using different ways and methods by not sticking to the one possession that scientists or any other doctors would recommend I'm sorry but you are in the wrong here you are in the wrong and this is something that's really really annoyed me for a long time and the community has had a very tough year in 2021 so far and we don't need any more of this anymore we really don't and I am personally trying to make a difference I'm trying to fight to uh, fight for justice for free speech just doing anything to make autistic voices heard and to not be bullied or not to be victims of yellow journalism it is very important to recognize this and I will not quit until things have been done and the community has been justified and this is something that I, it's really important to me and I'm sure for many there'll be loads of autistic in individuals who feel the same and they want to have answers rather than thinking about questions and yeah that 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 kind of like wraps up the boat really and I know I'm not trying to make too much of a rant about this but for me I think this is really important and to understand an individual you have to get to know them and to not judge them when you only met the once or no times at all and I think this is the time to change all of that and 2021 is the year for justice, for having our voices being heard and to make differences as well but if not then from 2022 onwards I can definitely say that we will get through this we're all in this together guys and we will continue to have justice no matter what but as long as we get answers and the truth instead of questions and lies then that would make an absolute difference and to end on a very positive note guys you're not alone you are a wonderful and an amazing individual and even though if you are autistic or have an other hidden disability just remember you are not alone you are loved you were born for a reason and the world really loves you so much thank you for watching